Man, oh man, oh man, man, time out, time out, cut it. So it's just going to fizz out like that? The world and all of what it has going on from the conscious community to what's supposed to be brought forward is just going to go down into that dark good night. <laughs> Meaning I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the action. I'm seeing the conversation. So, you know, I could be doing a bunch of stuff right now instead of this message, except I got something I need to really talk about and really, really put on the line right now. I even got folks going back and forth in their mind about whether or not it's going to be about Bring in this sovereignty. What is this is ridiculous. Let me just paint it out for you because it's about integrity. You know, the ancestors that we're dealing with would finish this imperfection anyway because of their own integrity. So it doesn't matter what you do, but it does, should matter to you because that's what's going to balance things out. So you're either a character in the game, acting out on the script, trapped in your own mind and your consciousness, not making decisions because you keep bouncing around the thoughts. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? I'm just not going to do anything. It's easy not to do anything. So here I am again, highlighting once and for all, Netflix, pedophilia. Are you serious? Come on. This first five minutes of the Rim of the World series, or a movie or whatever, Rim of the World, even the title is to suggest that you're talking about a butthole. The rim of the world. And then within the first 10 minutes, there are so many pedophilic puns towards the children's actors and racial stereotypes at the children actors. No, this is this is it. That's why I was saying, man, you're either going to get into this or you're going to keep repeating because you keep sitting back, letting stuff happen right in front of your face. It is being broadcasted to you. And we are not actually on point doing what we're supposed to do. Then you got one man, meaning just a few people really pushing out on a 360, meaning like, look, we got to develop the device. We have to create our own platforms. We have to actually get the people educated. We have to work with the children. We have to do all of this. And you see me, I'm there doing it all. And who do I see? Like meaning that ain't nobody come to me. Ain't nobody sent me no email. Ain't nobody said nothing. Like, A7, we see you. We see you putting the technology together. We got an engineer over here. What do you think? You think, you know, can we, we just send him over there. Whatever you develop, just send us one. You don't see nobody engaging because all y'all are sleep. Y'all sleep. And you don't even get it. But if you can hear this right now, then you have a chance. So look and just peep it out. You see, this is, you got to have a cause. You got to have a passion. You got to have a mission. So when you say, like I said right now, I said, why would I get up there and talk on this microphone right now? I got a bunch of stuff to do. Even though just put myself into that state of mind, I got stuff to design. I got to call over there to China. I got to do all sorts of stuff. I got to map out protocols. I got to actually get with the developer. I got all that stuff to do. Why would I get on the mic? And then the cowards. Oh, why would I even threaten my empire by saying something against old Gargamel, old Caesar? Why would I say anything? Because he is false. That's why you would say anything, because you should say something. And that is because of your kids. You got to think about this. You got to enliven yourself. That is you. And you're not going to keep yourself protected from this. Your kids are not going to be protected. And that's how you're not going to be protected, because you didn't do something to create an alternative reality. That's what this is about. This is about time travel. That's why time travel is all over everywhere. Everybody's a time traveler. Duh. There's no such thing as time. We invented it and then we created the entire program around it to loop the DNA and loop the memories. Now you got us living in not paradise. Paradise lost. You got us living in this crazy ass crooked world spinning wildly on a global axis concept theory, new world order bullshit. So it has to change. So I have the power and you had the power to change it. And I'm going to keep going. I'm never going to give up. I will do this infinity. I live infinity. So at one point I will see a reality that is completely imbalanced. And I feel like that is now. So from there, let's just correct some things. I am not a color. I am not black. What the fuck? Do you go to another race and actually say, hey, yellow, yellow man, red man. You don't say that shit. Why? Because all those colors are related to a caste system of slaves. People who've accepted a mentality of tribes, not tribe. They accepted the idea that we're all separate and we're not. We're all together. So there's no differentiation in something that is completely together. So if you get called a color, especially when that color is high dramatic, it means dirty, dark. It means dirty, dark, evil creature, Mordor. 
You see what I mean? It has nothing to do with a particular person's color, creed, and who they really are truly as a person and as a being. You see what I mean? So get it straight. Black means in high Germanic as a high Germanic word, pale. I'm not pale. This is a reference to the swords. That's why they say that may the swords weep with you. Y'all was laughing about it, thinking it's a joke and a game. Look it up. Schwarz is a word that means dirty and dark. Neger, right? Schwarzenegger. OK, that's why Buddy was all out front for years and years and years. They still got Schwarzenegger running around. It's a code. Next code, Zion. They go keep next year when Buddy come out and play the basketball. Zion, Zion, Zion. Y'all just going to get that across the mainframe. Everybody going to send power into that. You know, or we're going to take that power and turn it into doing what we need to do with quantum solutions. So how much more do you really want me to say? I am a doer. Get with me. Let's fund this app. Let's get our own mainframes and services online. Let's get our people employed in highly educated jobs to where they're understanding exactly where things are turning. Look at China. I mean, I heard a brother say the other, the other day in the old recording, man, y'all watching the quote unquote white man so long, y'all missing what's going on over there with the Chinese. Meaning for all people, you see this color when you say white because everybody, even the Polish, even, even the people who are supposed to be the white by the skin, the Slavs, they've been oppressed. That is the name where the slaves come from. That's what the feudal lords was doing to everybody else and then bought that poison to everybody else. So listen to what it really is. This is really about us getting together. So that way, when we and our children are working with trying to just get in the ocean or have a swim and see things like mommy has seen and daddy has seen, that it'll be there even better than you have seen it. I'm experiencing and living that life now. There is nothing absolutely wrong with my life at all. It's perfect. But that's because I've made that happen inside. Hence, understand. So a lot of cats ran out early. You know, look at me, look at me, just like the social media trend. And then they're running out of gas because all they've been doing is just taking what all the other teachers have been saying. The old, especially the ancient teachers, the older teachers, taking what they've been saying and rehashing it and trying to bring it forth in their own way. But you can tell what's unique because then they bring something that ain't nobody ever seen before, ever conceived. That's original. We morph originals. We bring forth originals. We can take Human souls that have been put into clone programs or tetrahedron hive base HIV programs and actually break them out of those cubes, the womb magic, and actually bring them into true my app through math by learning the frequencies and the harmonics and the tones and the vibration that the body needs in order to stay into the actual original design of the creators. So that's what you're talking about back here. And then look, people look at me. You should see, you know what it's like to live in the skin. I got folks I'm protecting their children on quantum levels and they're still looking at me because of my skin and, and then thinking, wonder if they're going to be able to help or do something. They're judging in their own mind. So thus they have been judged to just not do anything today. And every day you don't do something, you die for that day. That's it. it I don't care if you're looking at the whole 72 year, the bigger clock. The big hand on the clock, the small hand on the, if you're looking for the small hand on the clock, the big hand on the clock is turning every single night. You're dying and you're forgetting where you are. You're forgetting what's going on because you don't have the passion and the strong will to live because that has tied into something that you're actually doing, something that you're protect, something you're protecting, professional technology, something that causes you to make you want to be aware through existence. And I already said for all those cats that feel like they're going to escape and get away, remember the Tibetans and the Buddhists and all of them, they had already done all that. They went to the extreme extreme, going into the caves, going to the darkness. But what comes forth from the darkness? Something screaming back into the light, ready to get in action again. What I'm saying is that many of them cats went in them caves. They didn't have anything. They nullified themselves. They nullified everything. They killed the passions. They reached nirvana. And then what? <laughs> what about your mama? Then what? What about your brother? So they come screaming back into the light, but on K broke status, trying to figure out how they're going to master their mainframe that's constantly metamorphosizing itself because of why external controllers already being aware outside of time exactly how to move the mainframe. 
taking knowledge from the ancient people, continuously harvesting the mines in order to bring forth more seeds as seeds consume seeds. And guess what? Nothing is actually being done out of the laws of the design. Seeds eat seeds. It is a sacred honoring to allow the consumption of something to be transformed into something greater. But if the consumption of something is transformed into something less, then you will experience less. And that's where we are. And that's where we rise from. I'm glad I got a chance to see the bottom. It's like a spring to the top. And I will always return here. So we say, oh, that's a Messiah program. You're in a program. You're around a program. You think in a program. You speak in a program. You better learn the program. And you better actually figure out how to manifest the program for yourself. What do you think your ancestors was doing? They had time to spend back and sit back and create 50,000 different types of beetles. <laughs> they had time to sit back and experience the limitless. And they're there now. Let's get there. Homeless.